guys welcome or welcome back to my channel and today's video i'm going to show you guys this simple hair growth spray that is going to actually grow your hair with three simple ingredients you can get in the market very affordable and easy to get and my first ingredient is rosemary herb rosemary boosts hair growth by stimulating blood circulation to the hair follicles it conditions and strengthens the hair and treat dandruff rosemary is actually going to grow your hair guys just use it and you're going to see the result and these three ingredients i'm going to show you guys is going to be a game changer in trying to grow your hair because you're going to see results and my second ingredient is going to be hibiscus leaf the active ingredients in hibiscus flower or leaves are favonoids and amino acid and amino acid and favonoids helps to nourish your scalp and hair follicles and even help to nourish your hair roots and it's going to help you strengthen your hair by preventing hair fall and it's very good for hair growth and my last ingredient is going to be aloe vera aloe vera promotes healthy hair growth thanks to the special exam found in it which is effective in breaking down dead skin cells on the scalp that may clog hair follicles aloe vera is going to improve your hair health and lessen breakage which contribute to hair growth before you say your hair is not growing or you're trying to cut your hair due to your hair is not growing or you're having breakage try and use this spray first before you can say that your hair is not great because i bet you your hair is going to grow and you're going to see results as you're using this treatment and i'm going to show you guys how i work with this how i apply it to my hair and what i do afterwards so at this stage it's either you boil it or you add hot water but i always try to use a lower means of infusing it which is trying to preserve all the nutrients and vitamins of all the ingredients you can boil yours if you want to boil yours but just know that you should boil it on a low heat i'm going to add my hot water right now and i'm just going to cover it i'm just going to allow this to take its course by infusing overnight and this method is what works for me and that's what i'm doing and that's what i'm going to show you guys so guys this is what i'm going to do i'm just going to cover it like i said earlier i'm going to just allow it to stay overnight you can allow it to stay at least four hours five hours six hours if you're in a hurry to use this particular treatment but i do my own overnight treatment so that the next day i believe that everything has infused together it has collected all the nutrients into the water and the next day my water has changed color the color looks so deep and i'm going to then separate the ingredients from the water so guys i'm going to be using my strainer in this particular treatment it's easy to strain and I'm going to separate the ingredients from the water by using my strainer and that is the what I used my strainer. You can use chest clothes if you want to. Just know that we didn't use any powders or we didn't use any tiny ingredient that might slip through the strainer into the water. So using this strainer is okay, it's nice to use. So after straining it, I'm just going to then put the water back in my jar. I'm going to preserve this in the refrigerator for at least six days as i'm using this water so this is how it looks like and for application method is easy and i'm going to show you guys how to apply this particular hair growth spray in your hair i have mini braids on so i'm just going to be working with my mini braids i'm just going to show you guys what i do as i apply this water on my hair because there's some things you can do to actually speed up the process or to speed up the growth while using this particular spray so one thing about this spray guys that you can use it in so many ways it can use it as a leave-in treatment it can use it as a rinse treatment it can use it as a mask adding it to something else as a mask i'm going to be using it as a leave-in treatment and the reason you should use this as a leave-in treatment because the more you leave it on your hair the more it gets to work for your hair if I apply this and I rinse it out it might not work faster than applying it and allowing it to stay on your hair this spray does not smell it smells so nice because it don't have rosemary herbs in it it smells so heavenly so the problem about people that they apply something and they quickly rinse it off apply it and allow it to dry in your hair and the more it stays on your hair the more it actually gets to fasten the growth gets to still make blood circulation for your hair as i'm applying it i'm going to make sure that it gets to all the strands of my hair my hair is coated with it and as i apply it i massage it in and i make sure that it gets to my edges because this spray grows hair Hair, guys it grows hair it doesn't limit growth in any area of your hair both the edges both the nape area on the top of your anywhere around your head is going to grow your hair so i'm just going to massage it in and massaging help with blood circulation to the scalp so guys as you apply this on your hair always ensure to massage your scalp even if it's two minutes and this is the remaining of the one i made i'm just going to refrigerate this for at least six days before i then discard it and make a new bag so guys now we are done moisturizing our hair our hair is now coated with this spray the next we are going to do is we're going to seal in the moisture 
if you apply something on your hair you just need to seal it off and we get water apply oil on top of the water the water hardly escape that's what we are doing right now now that i applied water on our hair with our infused teas we're going to use grease butter or used to seal in the moisture depending on what you have this is my vaseline and clove hair grease i made i have a video how i made this grease on my channel you can check it out i'm just going to apply it on my hair on the ends of my hair on my hair not on my scalp guys because it contains vaseline and vaseline is not penetrating to the scalp so that's why it gets to my hair then i apply the oils on my scalp this is my indian hair growth oil i made for myself you can check it out i'll put the link there in the description box for you to check it out too i apply the oils on my scalp i apply the grease on my hair which is around my hair and that is what i do guys if you have hair butter if you have hair grease if you have hair growth oil you can use one on your scalp on your hair but don't use more of grease on your scalp except those grease that contains vaseline which is petroleum jelly or petroleum oil so that's how i do and i'm going to massage everything in i want to about massage guys now massage is going to help you blood circulation anything that gives you blood circulation is going to promote hair growth i'll be saying this on my channel always massage your scalp even if it's two minutes and that's how i apply this product on my hair and be consistent with it if you want to give this a try thanks so much for watching this video please like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye